This liquid eyeshadow is bomb. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. Today I'm kind of doing a makeup and outfit hair um, look for Eid. I know it's coming up very soon, so I thought it might help some of you guys out there. And also I thought I'd do something a bit different, like a black sari. I, might, I mean, when do you ever see a black sari? Black and gold, red lip, smoky eyes. I'm literally in love. And the lip is not too much red. It's like a really soft powder red had so much fun making this look for you guys i'm literally boiling though i'm not gonna lie i'm literally boiling so yeah today's video is for all my muslim followers i really hope you find this video helpful um let me know if you want me to create any other looks and yeah we'll just jump straight into the video okay i know i look a little cray cray but trust the process i'm first gonna use this huda beauty lifeliner i'm gonna put a little bit on the like outer edges you don't need to put too much to be honest and then I'm going to take the crayon side of the lifeliner and I'm just going to put that all over. I'm just going to start buffing that out. To be honest, this is so long wearing, like your, your black eyeshadow will not budge. I find that when I work with like black eyeshadow for, for smoky eye, I just like to have like a black intense base. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just really blend those edges. You don't have to be neat because we're going to go with some eyeshadow on top, but I don't want any harsh lines. Ah, I just poked myself in the eye. Then I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered and I'm going to take the black shade in here. I just want to bring that like to my crease line. I'm just going to buff those edges out. So black and intense. Ooh. And then I'm going to take some of sandalwood, which is like a brown. And we're just going to blend those edges out. So right now I'm just working with the brown and the black to make sure that everything's nicely blended and soft. Nothing harsh. Like you want it to be all like blown out. Oh my God, look how intense look how intense that is wow i actually bought this elf liquid eyeshadow it's like a black silvery glitter shadow um especially for this look maybe just on the center it's just beautiful wow actually i'm gonna put it on all over okay look at that Can you see the shimmer? Ooh, I'm just gonna put a bit of mascara. I don't think um, black eyeshadows are hard. You just need the right base and then it just like comes out so beautiful. This liquid eyeshadow is bomb. Oh my God. <sighs> Can you see the sparkle? It's so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna let that lash glue dry on my lids for a bit always put a bit of spf i'm actually going to go with my nars tinted moisturizer this is in the shade cuba i need to check out their new shades because i mean this one's my good summer shade but i can't wear it in winter time as much but it's bomb just gonna blend that over literally makes your skin look so flawless i'm gonna go with my tarte shape tape this honestly just gives me a flawless and put it over my cheeks to cover these i've got none left i need to go open a new bottle i've always got stock of my tarte shape tape there's a lot of eyeshadow here so i'm just gonna clean it up I'm just going to put a bit of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Instant Anti-Age Eraser. Let's change this name actually. This is in the shade Buff. Just for a bit more coverage and a bit of lightness. 
Then I'm gonna use some of my Barry M Ready Set Smooth Setting Powder. This powder honestly gives like such a nice like brightening effect. which I think is so flawless with like a smoky eye. Look at that. And this photograph's really nice. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade Island Ting. Just gonna bronze up them cheeks. I'm using kind of like daylight, so the light's like coming and going as it pleases. I wanna go for peach blush today, so I'm gonna use my LA Girl uh, Just Peachy Blush. Look at that blush, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna tone that one down a bit. Tone it down, tone it down. I'm obsessed with this highlight, I'm telling you. I just literally use a little bit of my finger. Tap it in. Oh, it just sits so beautifully on the skin. Just gonna put a bit of liner on. My lower waterline. This is literally makeup therapy for me right now. I'm just gonna take a tiny bl bl brush with the black and just really like be very close to the lash line and just buff that out. So we can really get that. Oh, I'm just using a bit of the brown to like soften the edges. I did set my face with some MAC Fix Plus by the way. Now, I was gonna put a nude lip, but you know, I do a nude lip every day. That nude lip every day guys so we're gonna go for a bit of red I'm gonna go in with Mac devoted to chili powder kiss lipstick okay that's the finished makeup let me put some jewelry and my sari and I'll be right back black sari is such a vibe I bought this on Amazon and it's actually so stunning. Anyways, that's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial kind of get ready with me. Oh my God, I literally feel like a princess, like an Indian goddess. But to all my Muslim followers, I hope you all have an amazing Eid and I hope you found this video helpful. Jewelry's from Aheli and I think I got it on Amazon too. I'm gonna stop blabbering. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Hit the thumbs up button because it really helps your girl out. And I will see you in my next video.